Hey everybody, it's Campfire Trish and I'm coming at you from my kitchen. So today I am making a quick and easy crock pot dinner. Uh, and so it's perfect for a weeknight, um, especially when we're busy, you can throw it into the crock pot in the morning, leave it, let it do its, let it do its magic throughout the whole entire day. And boom, when you get home, there's minimally minimal stuff to do to get your dinner ready. So it's very simple and uh, yeah, and it's actually pretty healthy. So hey, if you're on a let's get healthy kick, this is might be a great option. Plus it's it's a soup, so it's it's cold and uh, we want to get warmed up. So yeah, it's soup time. So uh, let's get going. So this is a butternut squash uh, crock pot soup. Um, I ended up going ahead, going ahead, uh, and prepping my, um, preparing my butternut squash, uh, the night before. So that way it's ready to go today, this morning. And, um, so yeah, here's what I did for that. All right, and so now um, it's the next day. I am just prepping, um, getting ready to fix the rest of the items or get this ready to go right into the crock pot. And I'm just browning some or melting some butter. And I'm gonna add a half of it. So I've cut, got some uh, onion up. I'm gonna add about a half of that. Well, almost all of that, I should say, <laughs> uh, to my pot. And I'm just going to brown this up a little bit. That way it can get nice and caramelized to go right into the soup. I'm going to add a smidgen of salt. Like how I measure. I just kind of use my eyeballs. And uh, yeah, I'm going to let this do its thing, cook down, get some browned. And then uh, meanwhile, here's my um, cut up squash. Oh my, I'm gonna just throw this right into my crock pot. All right, so while that onion is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and add two cups of water to my crock pot. Main squeeze, I'm filming. <laughs> he thought I was talking to him. Um, and two cups of water to the crock pot. And I'm gonna do, let's see here if I can get my tripod. And I'm going to add um, two, I mean, four uh, chicken bouillon cubes to the mix. One, two, three, and four. And I'm going to add a little bit of thyme. And a even smaller amount of cayenne pepper. Cayenne. Woo, that's enough. Just a sprinkle. And then once those onions are done, I'll be adding that to the mix and giving it a, a quick little stir and then um putting uh putting this on for a six hour cook all right so this has been cooking for many hours now and the the um the butternut squash is definitely tender i just added 
a block of cream cheese to the soup. And now I'm going to let that kind of cook and do its thing, melt down. I just chopped it up a little bit. And then I'm going to um, I'll come back here in just a little bit, give it a good stir, see where we're at. All right, so as we can see, the cheese is incorporated nicely. I've actually turned off my crock pot now, and my next step is actually gonna use my immersion blender and blend this up. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can just do this in a regular blender if you want. Um, and I actually do have one, sorry, it's my oven just preheated um, for something else, but um, I actually do have one, but I'm gonna use my immersion blender now, and I'm going to, uh, um, yeah, just blend it. <laughs> So that is all nice and smooth. You can blend this to whatever consistency you prefer. So if you like a little chunks, you can leave a little chunks. Totally up to you. And uh, it smells really, really good. Just going to ladle a little bit in here. Some people like to top it off with a little um, plain yogurt or some sour cream and um, perhaps even some... Um, croutons or something else like that, a little extra crunch. Um, I am just gonna try it as is, and yeah, let's get trying. All right, it's got a spoonful here. <laughs> it almost looks like baby food, but it's gonna be so much better. It's hot. Hmm. Oh, wow. I've made butternut squash soup before, but I've never added cream cheese to it. And that cream cheese really added an awesome layer of tastiness. It's really good. I do wish I had a few croutons to like throw in it for a little crunch. I think that would be really good. I might have to make some, do some bread, get some bread and slice it up and make some croutons. But this is really good, you guys. I am actually a little shocked myself. <laughs> and, um, I've had it, like I said, I made it before, but that cream cheese really added an awesome layer. And who doesn't like cream cheese, right? You know I do. Uh, but yeah, it's awesome. So I go, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. Do you like butternut squash soup? Have you ever tried any with sweet potatoes? My Actually, my plan was to do one with sweet potatoes in today, but I found that my sweet potatoes were hard and uh, hard as a rock, like I could have hurt somebody with them. So I opted not to go that route today. Uh, so um, I switched plans like you sometimes have to do. Um, just switch your plans, keep on going. Yes, I got my cabinet open. Good golly, yo. Um, <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you've had butternut squash soup and you have a better rendition, hey, post it in the comments. I'd love to give it a try. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't already, um, subscribe to my channel, please do. And I like to see those numbers go up. It's, it makes me feel good. And, uh, yeah, post a comment, um, below, if you like it, if you don't like it, what other videos you want me to do, what other recipes you want to try, what other camping hacks or reviews you want to do me do on any um, products or whatnot, yeah, post it below uh, and I'll take a look and see what I can do. But anyway, until next Saturday at 8 a.m., that's when my, my new uh, video will drop. Uh, until next time, 